Hi everyone, it's the 1st of June, it's Saturday evening and the time is 10 minutes to 10, or 10.50 if you prefer to say it that way. Anyway, what we've got on here is a rather large car boot haul because it's basically two car boots worth of stuff in one. But not all of it is on here, some is in the bedroom because I just don't have the room on this bench. So I'm going to start here because this is from last week. Um, and there is a bunch of stuff like uh, die cast cars that are not here. But there wasn't really anything worth showing anyway. Um, so, I'm sure I'm actually forgetting something. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with what's down here on the floor because it's the largest item. I've got one of these big old um, industrial floodlights again. So I've got three now. This one is a little bit smaller than the other two. And this one's made by Thorn. I don't know if it's going to show up in the corner there. It's um, called a Sunpack 70 watt class 1 HPS-E slash I240V blah 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 but look at it it looks new I don't even think it's been on a wall I'm certain this has not been outside I mean I can see inside there and it's very clean um, so what do you think I actually paid for this I don't think anyone's gonna believe me when I do tell you so uh, I'll just give you a few seconds to be honest and put your comments down below on what you think I paid for this Have you done it? One pound is all I paid for this. One pound. I couldn't walk away from that. You know, it's even got the bracket and everything with it. So I was just like, yep, I'll have that. He had another outside light, which was just uh, an ordinary, what we call bulkhead. What you can find on a lot of um, walls on houses and things. Um, but that looked brand new as well. Actually, it had two big clips bolted to it and a long length of cable, so it looked like it was modified to mount onto like a scaffold pole or something. Because that's what the clips were like, like they hooked onto a pipe or something, but they were quite large. They're about that diameter. So, like a scaffold pole or something. I'm going to kick that with my feet down there, aren't I? So. I grabbed that as well because it looked a lot nicer than the one I had on the shed down at Mum's. Because um, I've got a floodlight above the door, which is what I use as the main work light if I need one. Um, and then there's a light round the side because there's no light round there. Um, I put one up there and it was crap basically. It was crap. It was old. I mean, I'm keeping it as part of my collection of lights, but. It's not going to be put into use. In fact, I had to break the lens cover because I couldn't get a screw undone to get the lens off. So yeah, that's not here, so I can't show you that. The other item I can't show you is a pair of bicycle wheels because they're down at Mum's. Brand spanking new pair, black rims. Um, not buckled or anything, brand new. And he just wanted ten pounds for the pair, so I got those as well. Uh, they're going to go on the Saracen. They don't have a disc brake mounting on them, so I can't mount um, a brake rotor on it. But I've decided with the Saracen that I'm not going to go disc brakes now. Once I've got a new set of forks to replace those ones that are completely shot in it, I'm going to go V brakes. So. It's kind of restricting what forks I can put in them because obviously they've got to have the uh, mountings for the V brakes. Um, so, yeah, the reason for that is I've got the Silver Fox which is fitted with disc brakes, so I don't see the point in having both bikes fitted with the same brakes. I can, and if I can, replacement forks, I will get a pair with the disc brake mount on them as well for the caliper so if I decide to change it again in the future it would be easy you know it'd just be a case of 
changing the brake cable for a longer one and changing the wheels. Because at the moment I don't have a matching pair of wheels and that was the first pair that I'd come across for a decent price. So I think they're actually going to look quite nice in that bike. So they're pretty much... I mean the die-cast cars I got last week they were mostly just vintage ones from the 1960s, some from the 70s, I think some a bit newer very tatty, some were just beyond repair well if you really wanted to you could repair them but I just pretty much bought them to go in my box of scrap so nothing, like I said, nothing there worth showing um, there is a torch that's not here because I forgot to go and get it <laughs> If I remember, when I go in the bedroom to show you the bike lights I got, I will go in the drawer and um, grab that. Anyway, I got two of these. I've only got one now, but I did buy two of these, £5 each. It's um, a Seagate Video 3.5 HDD, 500 gigabyte. Um, I've only got the one, because my brother tested these on his machine they do work so for £10 I got a terabytes worth of storage basically um, but he wanted another 500 gig for his machine so you could have the storage up to one terabyte because he's just bought an SSD and a video card for his so you want to get it all up and running and whatnot so I traded I traded him a 500 gig for this um, Western Digital 320 gig you know what I would use this PC on it doesn't have to be very big anyway so I was happy to do that trade um, but I've got two more there from the same cell I got them this week but uh, we'll get to that lot when we've done this now that torch that's missing came from a seller who had about four boxes on the ground and he was selling everything in those boxes three items for one pound so I grabbed this another ordinary bulkhead outside light which you could actually still buy I, well last time I looked in my local QD store you could still buy these and I think Roy's used to sell these as well don't know if they still do so yeah, this one's never been used. See that the, the um, holes for the screws have not been knocked out. They're still sealed. And all the cable entries are still sealed. And there's three on this. This is actually quite a good design. Because you could put a chain of these up. Because obviously you'd put like um, some conduit into there. You'd screw a conduit tube into there. Um, so you could put that on the wall. Conduit in. Conduit out to the next light so you could put a chain of these up in the wall quite tidily um, not all of these had that design and it's even the same on the bottom so you can put a conduit in there um, there is no rear entry for a cable though so those are your only options but, uh, it's got a good cage on it never been used I like it so I grabbed that, I grabbed the torch because I was actually trying my best to, uh, you know, make up the pound and then I grabbed this and I have found out what this is because I posted it to a Facebook group called ElectroTap it is basically just a simple tester for bulbs and fuses and things and under here it's got a um, socket tester to plug straight into an outlet like this, you see, you just plug it in like that. Switch the outlet on. If everything's hunky dory, the lights come on. I think I have got a video on YouTube that I need to watch because um, that'll go through detail on what everything is on this. Because it's got a socket there for appliances, but I don't know how to use that one. Um, it's got two pads there. A bulb test and fuse test. Now I presume because of the spacing of these you'd put like a 240 volt bulb on there, bayonet bulb, 
you might even get an um, Edison screw bulb on there. Um, there is another bulb tester right in there for torch bulbs. That says CCT check, so I have no idea what that is. Um, set meter dial, I presume it zeroes out the voltmeter. There's 3 volt and 15 volt there, I presume that's just a voltage test for those voltage ranges because it goes up to 15 volts. There's also two sockets there, so I suppose you plug probes in. Um, and you can plug probes in there and that will give you a continuity test. And if there's continuity your needle flies all the way up to here and hit the little green thing that says continuity. And that's about it. It's just a simple home testing device, I suppose, just to test simple things. Um, yeah, it runs on two AA batteries. It all does work, as far as I can tell. The LED comes on. I have tried a lot of continuity tests and bulb tester and whatnot, which worked. So, never seen one before, and I just thought, you know, it's technically less than a pound is what it cost me. So I just thought, I'll grab it. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, the same seller I got the outside lights from, the big black one, I got four of these which are display cabinet lights um, for the home. You can get those nice big wooden cabinets with the glass front and the glass doors and whatnot. It's what these were for. I've got a set of four of these, um, only two cables to plug into there though, which doesn't matter because it is just a normal figure eight socket. There is a plug on the other end, and they do interlock together, but I don't know if it's enough to make connection. Looking at the pins, I'm going to say it is. So you could actually have them all in one long line if you wanted to. Um, Wick, actually I've got two spare bulbs. And... Oh, a TV signal amplifier as well, all for £2. He was just selling things off ridiculously cheap. It was, it was ridiculous. Anyway, you know what I'm like with lights and lighting. Um, then there was another stall that sold two more of those bulbs that I just showed you. One of these, I got that for one pound. I got the other two bulbs for a pound each as well. Um, I don't have anything to run this particular bulb though. Um, unfortunately, because I would like to see this one lit up, but for now I can't. Yes, it's got a bayonet fitting, sort of, if you notice it's got this groove in it, this ridge. Um, so it would need a specific lamp holder, it won't go in an ordinary light socket. Um, plus I would need the running gear for it, probably a ballast and whatnot. But i also got two of these. as well, all for a quid, because I already had one of these here at home, so I thought, well, I might as well have the other two for spares, because I've got the running gear for these, so I can light that one up. Right. I have actually dropped one of these bulbs, and I've, that one I just had, I've dropped a few times. They are pretty robust. Anyway, the other thing I got, or five pounds, it was another one of these Bardic lamps. Um, this one's actually in working order because I've put the battery from the other one in it. Um, this one is different and I've brought the other one through just for a comparison. This is the one I got a, over a month ago now from another car boot. It's got the yellow on there, it came with the battery, paid ten pounds for this one. Um, but if you look at the lens, one difference is that this has got, if I can turn the bloody knob, Green, amber, red, white, um, a black knob that goes all the way around. It goes around in a 360. And like I said, the yellow paint. And this is in a little bit rougher condition. This one I got for five pounds is in slightly better condition. It's got that metal switch which just goes left for one color, 
middle for the white and right for the other colour because it's only got two colours. It's got red. You see, so if I go right with the switch, that would be my right. Get red, middle, white and then green if I go to the left. Um, like I said, metal switch. Slightly better condition. Works. <laughs> so, I thought for five pounds I will go for that. <coughs> so, aside from those bicycle lights, um, that is it from last week's. No, it isn't. I got this as well last week for two pounds, a little um, portable radio. But this is one with a difference. This has got CB1 and CB2 um, and airband added onto it. So airband you can actually pick up some um, air traffic radios. Um, not sure how legal that is. I'm not sure what the leg legalities of that are. So if you want one of these and you want to listen to them, do so at your own risk. Because I don't know. Um, Probably not legal to do that. But yeah, that was working. That's two pounds that cost me. Right. So, we're now on to this week's. And I've got a fair bit here. I've got Lego. These um, sort of, don't know what you would class them as. Not really base plates. They're part of, well actually they were using a few old vintage sets. A few of the old harbour sets. Actually, no, I think it was all harbour sets. But I may have a use for some of these myself, so. Hmm. In fact, I want some more of these to do what I want to do with these. If I want to do that, you see. I'm hoping that would work and that would line up. But the others are not sloped, they're all flat, so... Yeah, but I do have a plan for these. And they were £3 for the lot of those. So that was a bargain. I'll go on eBay and I'll see if I can find some of these ones with the slope in it. You could actually make railway platform with those as well. Um, some more die cut. I've got these as well. I haven't tested these. These were £15 for the pair. They're Corsair RAM XMS3, um, 4 gigabytes each. No, nope, sorry, it's a 4 gigabyte kit. I think, although the 2 times 2 gigabytes has been crossed out on one of them. But either way, it's some extra DDR3. I've got another machine that I want to use that in to upgrade, so I'm hoping I can do that. If not, it'll go back on, or it'll go on eBay and I'll try and get my money back. I've got two more of these Ever Ready torches. I've actually got four of these now. Um, I got that from the same stall I got this and whatnot from. Again, three items for a pad, and I got some extra screwdrivers because my stepdad seemed to be uh, lacking them in his workshop. So I bought a bunch, sorted out the ones I wanted to keep, and had to sort through mine, and then whatever I didn't want, I went and put in his workshop. So, basically I made that up and uh, bought this. And that was a pound with a couple of other items, which I've totally forgotten what it was. Um, so yeah, I've got them in four different colours as well. I've got a grey one, I've got an orangey yellow one through there, a red one, and a blue one. I don't know why, but I just saw these and I thought, well, why not? I've already got two of the other colours, so I might as well just see how many colours I can get. <laughs> so, there we go. This one had a battery in it, but it was dead. Little matchbox for transit. A little matchbox car there. A few of those. A little matchbox there. Uh, and 
there was one more feeling it was this one a majorette which I'm presuming pulls a trailer or would have done it says camping car okay so it's just a camping car <laughs> right um, they were two pounds so they were 50p each and like I said, that guy I got the other hand drives from was there again this week and he had another two, so I grabbed those and he recognised me. Um, so if I go next week, I'm going to hope he's got some more hard drives because I'll buy them. You know, these two have been tested as well, they work. Um, this one's got Pipeline HD.2. I'm going to have to Google that because I want to know what these names are. It's still a 500 gig hard drive. These have got some sort of files on them, but they're not really usable on an ordinary PC. So I don't know. My brother said that they could have come from a surveillance system. Because, um, you know, that one's got video written on the corner. That one's got pipeline, but they've all got the same sort of files on. Can't access, and all one kilobyte files, so... I don't know. That is quite curious though, but they do work on an ordinary computer, so that's the main thing. Um, I've done the RAM, haven't I? Uh, oh, this is one of the other things I got from that. Any three items for a pound, this is random lamp here. Super late. It used to be very popular back in the day. The idea behind it is, you know, you've got the extra red light, or the lens that goes on it for your red light. So if you've broken down and you've got no lights and you're on a dark road, then you can just stick that on your car and you're visible. Um, it just plugs into your cigarette lighter, magnet, um, opens up. You've got a little winder there to wind your cable in. These do actually come with quite a long cable. But it also doubles up as a work light. So if you need to work under your bonnet and you need a light, a light. Back in the days before LEDs, the fact it's got the um, very, well I say red, it looks more like a pink to me, but the fact it's got that lens cover is something short of a miracle and all. But, uh, yeah, I just thought, why not? Oh, actually no, I've just realised I got it wrong, I did not get this from the store that was selling three items for a pound. I got that with that, that was one of the items I got with that for a pound. Uh, more cars! Two pounds for this, it's not the right trailer for it but I still liked it. And it's got the ma um, Majorette Mercedes tractor unit there. But yeah that's a matchbox trailer there which seems to have lost the landing gear. It hasn't got what they call the landing gear, the legs. So if you ever wondered what the legs were on these rig trailers, that's what they call them, the landing gear. Uh, then I went to another stall, not far from where I got this truck from, and bought four vehicles. So I've got a nice Corgi ambulance here. It's got a few dings on some of the corners, but it's actually in the best condition out of all of these that I've got. Well, I say all of these that I've got, I've only got a few of them. But I haven't got one that's got the ambulance written up there and the blue star on the door. Um, so I just thought, I've got to have this one for that reason, because it is different to the ones I've got. And it's in really nice condition. Um, and he also had a matchbox. Voxel Astra GTE in this um, livery, get up, whatever you call it, racing get up. Now I've got a couple of these, but they're not in anywhere near as good a condition as this. So I saw that and I just realised that wheel is pushed up. There we go, I think I've got it down. Yeah. Yeah. The other ones I've got, the paintwork is really, really shabby, so I'm actually glad that I found that. I think they were a pound each. No? I 
can't remember now. <laughs> um, I got this little um, Sunbeam Imp police car. The flashing light is inside it, so it needs a bit of restoration work. I might see if my stepdad wants to tackle this one in winter. Um, I'm just going to need the rivets drilled, the blue light put back on the roof, and um, obviously a paint job, but the wheels are present. It has lost one of the crystals that they use for the headlights. Now, I knew I should have got the tatty old Mustang that was there because we could have pinched it from that. Oh well, if I get to go next weekend and they're there, I'll see if I can nab it. And of course, I grabbed that because that's actually in good condition. It's missing all the cargo, but it's in pretty good condition. Now, I've got a bunch of cassettes as well. These are, now that's what I call music, apart from the chart runners at the top. I've got now 7, now 8, now 9, now 10, uh, now 4, now 13, uh, now that's what I call music, 2, now that's what I call music, the very first one, and of course like I said the chart runners, couldn't resist those when I saw them. Um, and of course just the camera some Lego Technic sets. Now, I'm going to have to do a bit of restoration work on these sets. Did only pay a tenner each for them. Um, there doesn't seem to be a great deal missing from this one. You, meant, you can make the backhoe, that's the main set. Or, we've got the combine harvester down there. My cousin had this when we were little. And I actually loved it. I loved going round to his and playing with it. Um, so I'm definitely going to make that backhoe because I know what this set is actually worth. Um, most of it seems to be there. I've got one of these little wheels missing and I think the other parts that are actually missing I've got anyway so uh, I'm hopeful. <laughs> I don't know I might have a spare wheel I've got the correct tyre, I think I've got the tyre in that size, um, but I don't think I've got a yellow wheel hub. I am here, I'm just on the edge of the camera. <laughs> the other one I got was this one. Now it was partially assembled, I already know that one of the seats is missing, but it's very very faded. This has clearly been on display for a long long time, before that was partially dismantled and put on the car boot. But all this plastic piping, tubing, that is with this, needs to be replaced because it's gone so brittle, it's not usable. I can't use it. So it needs a few replacement parts, but other than that, it is complete from what I could see. I need to get some parts together to make the other seat. But actually, I'll remake both seats. Which I can do out of the parts I've got. I've got spare parts to do that. Um, so yeah, I need to source the blue tubing. I don't really think I've got anything that I can use for that. Um, the pneumatic hoses is one of the things that's missing for that backhoe loader as well. So I'm going to have to source some of those because I don't have those. Um, but I think I might have most of the other parts. So really, I've just got to source very few parts for both of these sets. But uh, the strange thing is, every Technic set I've got, apart from the ones that I've bought brand new, all the used ones, I've had to, well, basically restore. I've had to search for the parts to complete them or repair them. So, I'm actually looking forward to getting that buggy built up. I don't know if there's like alternative models to build. Uh, if actually there is, from the looks of it. But uh, I just thought that was too good to walk away at ten pounds each, especially as I've been after that JCB for quite some time to go with my mod more modern one up on the shelf. 
So if all I've got to do is source a couple of parts, then I'm happy to do that. Because uh, second hand, it's worth... Well, if you had a box, it's going to be worth a lot more, but without a box and complete, round about £50, give or take. So, even by the time I've bought some replacement parts, it's, I, I could still make money selling it if I wanted to. I don't want to. I want to keep it. I want to display it. So, that is what I'm going to do. Right. Before we just shut them down, yes, I know this is quite a long video because it's quite a big haul. I'm just going to go into the bedroom. Da, 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 da. The lights will help. There we go. These are the bike lights I bought. All, well, apart from the dynamo lights, I got all the battery ones from the same seller last week, all 50p each. Now, there was actually a um, reason why I bought them. That one, because I just thought that was quite unusual for a battery lamp. You know, it's got a dynamo light bracket there, but it is a battery lamp. It takes two D-cell batteries. It is pretty damn bright, but as usual with older lamps like this, you don't get a good light beam. They're good and bright, so you can be seen, but if you want to see where you are going in a country road, you're shit out of luck. <laughs> um, this goes with that. That is actually a set. Um, that's made by Eurolight and Eurolight did another set which actually had you know a rear one that looked just like this one with a different bracket on obviously to mount on the rear. So yeah Eurolight did quite a few different options over the years. But I bought these ones because I've got the rear ones. I already had those. So I saw those and I thought, well, I'll buy the front ones. And then I saw this LED and I was like, well, I'll have that as well. Because when I was a teenager in high school, you could buy these sets. And that was the set that you would buy. Front light, rear light, rear LED. Um, and all of these still work fine. You know, they were doing pretty good set of lights back in the day. Cheap, because they were less than £10. Yes, they do look like the Ever Ready Night Riders, for those that remember them. <laughs> so, we then got this. Um, this had a red lens on it. I put the white one on it, so I could make that into a front lamp to go with the um, rear one I already had. So I've got a pair in white now. And those dynamo lights just because I like them. Thought I heard him, but I couldn't see him. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. <sighs> yeah, so I done well, I think. Um, I don't think there's anything else. So, on that note, I'm going to shut this video down. Um, there's lots more I want to talk about, but I'm going to do that on another video, so it doesn't get too long. So, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and uh, I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!